Well, there's a look at many legacy 2002. I think the sweater adds a little <laughs> bit of weight too. I got to tell you, you guys wore tents back there between you and when when Ozzy had it. But look at that! How beautiful is that? Manny Legacy now the uh, goaltending coach for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, due to COVID protocol, we're both wearing our masks. Yep. However, you wore a mask for most of your career, so you should be <laughs> okay with that. But this is a uh, different protection. You are a lot lighter now. Uh, due to COVID, you lost 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Due to your wife, Gigi, yep. you're here with us to tell us about it. This was the month of August. What yeah. happened? So uh, we got COVID from uh, people we were visiting after they got their baby, they had their baby. and. And uh, she got it two days before I did, and you know her followed her. Basically, she got hot one day, she got cold the next day, and I was basically on the same thing. And then by day six or seven, uh, she got a cough. Six or seven, I got a cough. By day eight, hers went away. Mine never went away, and couldn't sleep, couldn't that. And then the, one day, she's like, I'm, "You're going in." I'm like, I'm not going to the I got a cough. Because you're stubborn. Yes, I'm stubborn as, you know, your dad back in the day. It's like, rub some dirt on it. I'm not going to the cough. I'll be fine. You're fine. I get this cough anyway when I have allergies. She called the doctor back in Saint, in uh, Columbus, who uh, then she called Dr. Clucci. And Dr. Clucci's like, get him in. Uh, there's something going on. And uh, Dr. Clucci, Red Wing doctor, uh, famous for helping out Yuri Fisher and uh, still a great friend of ours and play a lot of golf together and and he's like just bring him to a, an ER don't have to come see me just bring him in and get in and I'm like if I'm going in I'll go see Doc so we drove you know the 50 minutes to go see Doc and it was the best thing I did and my old wife saved my life and you had blood clots right yeah I had blood clots which developed we don't know if they developed for, from COVID or I had them before but it enhanced it with the cough and, and the pneumonia that everybody gets and and uh Dr. Clucci and Dr. Hussein and the whole staff up in the ICU unit at, at Henry Ford Macomb saved my life. And if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be here. Uh, but uh, if it wasn't for the hospital staff and the ICU staff and Dr. Clucci and Dr. Hussein, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Well, you lost 30 pounds. How do your shins look? Uh, it's uh, my wife. Cause I, we have a legacy trait. Like we're all lower butt yep. legs and calves and. She goes, your legs are disgusting looking, like two strings hanging from your shorts. You'd never seen them before, <laughs> no, had you? No, I'm like, I've never seen my shin before. <laughs> well, from COVID, the month earlier, daughter Sabrina, July 4th weekend, gets yeah. married. Tell me about Sabrina. Uh, Sabrina's uh, one of my heroes in my life. She, uh, she's she been battling this. She's uh, a nurse in, in Grand Rapids, and she's been battling this COVID and, and working relentlessly with the staff up there, and uh, she's a hero of mine. Well, that weekend, July 4th, when your daughter got married at your home, uh, I know what it's like to lose a son. Unfortunately for you, Matisse Klevlenix, your goaltender, he passed in a fireworks accident at your home the same weekend your daughter got married. Yes. I'm sure Matisse is looking down now, seeing you, Manny. Tell me about him. Yeah, he's... It's still high. You know, it, you know, it's... It, we're not even close to even getting over this. It's his wife, my wife and I are, he was a kid to us. He, uh, he lived through with us through the pandemic. He, every summer he lived with us, you know, he's from Latvia and, you know, he became really close to my, my, uh, my kids, my nephew, uh, our whole family. He just became one of our family and, and I couldn't even fathom what you went through and, Obviously, it wasn't my kid. Um, his parents were were uh, were nice enough. He was cremated to go home. His parents were nice enough to, to let us have some ashes, and we got to put him in our uh, our mausoleum spot where my wife and I have our spot, and we still get to see him. And we're not even we're not even close. And you know, I I, I know you. No, I understand. Yeah, and I just, we're yeah. not even close. It's, it's just, no. it was on my daughter's wedding, and we've been doing it, we've been doing the fireworks for 17 years and never even had a, someone burn a finger to this is a uh, terrible, tragic yeah. accident, and you can't explain it. 
but you're a wonderful guy. I know the hockey world uh, rallied around you. Yes, they did. And I know you I love Matisse, and I, I hear what Elvis loves you yeah. and how great you are with yeah. all your guys and your team and Torts and Brad Larson. And yeah, but I couldn't have done it without Lars and Torts and, yeah. and our training staff, like everybody in the hockey world and, you know, just calling Joey Kosher and the whole, even the Blue Jackets were, they took care of everything. They were, what they did in the McConnell family for, for Matisse and his family is far. They took care of every aspect of what was going on, and you can't say enough about what they did for him. Thank you, Manny, for sharing no, that. Thank I you. know it's hard. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Continue to this year yes. with your team. In, we may not call it a rebuild. We're both in the same situation. Yes. We're getting there. Yes. Thanks for doing this, Thank Manny. You. Great seeing you again, and you look wonderful. Thank you look wonderful. Thanks, pal. Third period coming up next.